basically show you how to add a tattoo type decal to a character like this. Um, it's just going to be a quick one. Somebody was asking about it, so I thought I'd do a quick one on how to do it. Straight into the blender. It's going to import the money one. It's going to hide the skeleton. We're not going to be needing it. Edit mode, and then I'm going to pick a patch where I want my tattoo to be. I would always try and make it square ish so that it fits an actual texture image if you're doing a texture image two by two. Square is just going to make life easier. It's going to duplicate it. We want to make sure that we've got it, our orientations on normals and active elements. One G, lock it on the Z axis, 0 0.001. And then it just lifts their meshes just slightly off the actual faces. And then you won't get any Z clip through. So now we're going to. Uh, I'm going to make another screen because life's just easier that way. So here, duplicate area in the new window. You go here, right click, and add it to your quick favorites. It's just make your life easier. I've already got the image loaded in, but you can just do it off here. I'll show you how to do it in a moment. So we need to select the patch that we made and then when you go back into the UV as you can see it's very small and we have no UV now so if you just see it unwrap it'll give us that. We need to create a new material new material new and then we're going to assign it to that patch so now it's only on that patch it's going to I'm going to deselect it a moment and then select it again just to make sure that it hasn't done the whole uh, mesh. So now we've got this in. So I'm going to go here. Let's go and have a look at it. I'm going to select all this. Now I can move the UVs around. Just with the normal rotate. G for grab. I'm just going to take it off the screen for a moment. So now, with the material, we need to actually put the actual um, text, Im the image on the material. So I'm just going to do another window, just to make my life easy. See the editor, find the actual texture, drag it in. Now we can see it on the actual window. <laughs> Sorry. Right. I meant to select all on the other window and I selected all on that one. So now, if I shrink this down a bit. As I move this around, you can see. So all you're trying to do is position it. And we can see the top's not very straight. I'd like it a bit straighter than that, so I'm just going to uh, do that. I'm going to scale it on the Y by zero, and it'll make them all straight. And then I'll probably do the bottom as well. We go. You could do the sides as well because you would just select them. I'll show you anyway. Uh, scale it by X because it's up and down, and then you've got it straight. But it'll start to distort the image if your image is down here and see it's not straight. So I wouldn't adjust that much the curves there because of the curve of the arm. So I wouldn't bother with that. I'll just move it. Scale it up.
and then as you can see the tattoo is now on his arm and we've got the UV lined up for the texture bring the skeleton back it's going to export it out now I've already exported it into Unreal Engine so no need to do it again so once you exported it in you would have the third material slot the one that we actually made and then you would make your actual material so texture actual one that you made in the opacity mask i put some stuff in and then i put a color in as well just so i can change the color of it As you can see, it's very easy just to change the colour. Oh, we'll pull up that screen. And then you can also use it to scale it. But it'll only scale to the patch size, so it'll depend on how big you want it. And you can also have some adjustment, just in case you needed them as well. And then that way you could actually fine-tune the position with your image, see if you're going back to Blender. Remember, though, you will get tiling. If you go too far, same with the scaling. If you take it too far, go the other way, you get scaling. And then if you go too large, it will flip, or sorry, too small, it will flip over. And that's how I add tattoos to characters. It's better than a decal, in my opinion. It's just more performing, I think, maybe. Who knows? Have fun.